So you have a short haircut like this, and it's time to grow it out. You don't want to be doing a number one on the sides anymore, or zero on the sides. You feel like it's just way too short. You may want to keep it somewhat short on the top, but you want to grow some of your hair out. So what's the best way to grow your hair out from a really, really, really short haircut? I get asked this all the time. And you know, it's like, do I trim the sides? Do I buzz my entire head? What do I do? Should I have it cut off to grow evenly? Let's just break down the first part of this where it's like, if you buzz your entire head, right? So if you're to take like a number one guard or the shortest point through here, and you did this on your entire head, right? You, you went on the entire head. First of all, it's gonna be somewhat of a shock. But what's gonna happen is that it's all gonna grow out evenly and it's just gonna become very, very bushy and it's gonna look awful because it's all gonna grow out even it, and it's gonna start to look really long throughout the sides here. It's gonna get bushy throughout here. It's gonna just look like, it's, it's gonna look like a mess, okay, to be honest with you. You're actually better off having, having it grow from something like this because it's always best to have the sides and the back a bit more tapered because this will always remain longer. So as this all grows out, it's gonna grow into itself. If you buzz all of this off, what's gonna happen is you're eventually gonna have to get back to this point and recreate the same exact haircut at some point to grow it out, <laughs> right? So you always, always, always wanna keep the sides shorter. Now I have another mannequin here which I'm gonna show you. Here is an example of having the hair grow out on the sides, okay? As compared to something like this, all right? You could see a similar length on top. It's a bit longer, right? This darker hair mannequin has a bit more hair longer on top. So you could see that even if this was growing out, you're gonna to start to get this type of look. Now, the only reason this looks so good is because the top is longer. It was cut this way. So as, you know, for example, say it was growing out, it's gonna always have more texture into here and the sides are gonna be a bit more tapered. So no matter what you're doing, if you're coming from a really, <clears throat> really, really, really short haircut, don't buzz all of your hair off to grow it back because you're eventually gonna to have to get to this point once again anyway. You're better off just letting it all grow with the side shorter and the top longer. And if at some point you need to have it balanced, you get it balanced. But I think you know, a lot of people you know, ask me about shaving their head, especially if you have a bad haircut, right? I've gotten so many comments and people saying, oh, I got the worst haircut ever. It's so uneven, should I just shave my head and let it grow back even? Chances are I would not suggest doing that because it's gonna, like I mentioned, it's gonna look all like just really poofy and, un, and just, it's not gonna have anything to it. You're probably gonna get annoyed that this is so long on the sides. You know, you always wanna have the top longer than the sides as it grows out because you're gonna be able to grow it into a new shape. Even if you're growing your hair really, 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 really long, it has to go through a phase of growing out and it's gonna look and feel somewhat awkward at some, sometimes it may not even look awkward, right? Like if I would do a haircut on someone knowing they're gonna grow their hair out, I would cut it a specific way to help the hair grow out. Now, does everyone know how to do that? I've learned that they don't. <laughs> so, you know, there are plenty of people who do, but you have to make sure if you're going to a barber or a hairstylist or a professional and you're, and you're telling them, you know, hey, I'm growing my hair out. Can you please help me grow it or cut it to grow out? I know it sounds like crazy, wait, how do I cut hair to grow it? Trust me, it can be done and I've done it hundreds of times. You just have to shape it properly and the sides and the back always have to be shorter than this. At some point, if the hair gets, right, let's just take this other mannequin here. At some point, if the hair does get to this length, look what's, look what's happening. This is short or shorter and look how long this is. But look what's happened. Because this whole top has grown out into this, look at what it's done, it's created its own layering, okay? It's created its own shape. 
I could take that short hair mannequin that I just showed you, this one right here, I could literally cut this one time and in a matter of seven, eight months, have the hair look like this, all right? Just because I know exactly what to do. So it's possible. Uh, let me know if you found this video helpful. Leave some comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.